What's up guys, it's JD from Drumlines of America and we're back today with another DOA exclusive. So today we're going to be unboxing and doing an initial review of the Movement Drum Code Double Sided Practice Pad. So you guys may be wondering, who is Movement Drum Co? Um, this is a pad company. You may remember them for making these really small portable pads that uh, kind of can stick anywhere. Um, they're really cool. Um, the reason why they're called Movement is because they want drummers to be able to practice on the move. And they just came out with this brand new pad. So we're going to open that today. So without further ado, let's jump right into it and let's open this bad boy up. All right, so they sent it to me uh, via Amazon Prime. So I'm just going to kind of take the tape off here. And um, it's a pretty long box. Oh wow, well, it, it actually has a smaller box inside of the big box. Some pretty cool packaging here, um, really love this smaller box that they have inside of here. Okay. <clears throat> so let's open up this small box, really nice, and see what's inside. All right, so initially, uh, the first thing that I noticed is that it is fully rimmed. Um, a lot of drum pads you see don't come fully rimmed. Um, very reminiscent of what we know about the off-world uh, invader pads. So that's pretty cool because that's one of my favorite pads. I really like this rim that I'm seeing right now. Um, we've got a soft rubber surface, I think, yes. Okay, so this is a floppy material here that is going to be able to be used um, as a softer playing surface. So we'll set that to the side for now. Um, you can see that this is an open uh, rubber surface, um, a harder rubber. They've got the Movement Drum Co. Um, logo here at the top. Um, apparently you can order these without the logo. Um, I'm not exactly sure um, how much of a price difference that's going to be, but you can order them without the logo as well. So we'll pull this out. And Okay, so we've also got the harder acrylic surface here that you can use uh, to play on or possibly for protection here um, underneath the pad. Um, and then you can place it right on top like that. Um, it looks, oh, this is just a sticker. Okay, so that is not actually a part of the pad. All right, so you can stick that in there and it'll probably give you a more articulate sound um, like a lot of uh, us marching percussionists look for. So that's really cool. Um, so now to the pad itself that has the rim on it, um, it looks like we have that harder rubber on the front and then a softer rubber on the back, which a lot of pads do. Um, but this one uh, is actually feels very sturdy in my hands, uh, which I think is gonna be a really good thing because we've all had drum pads that after so much playing just kind of fall apart on us. Of course, I won't know until I actually play on it for a while, but um, that's what we'll do next. Uh, we'll do a little bit of playing. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the different playing surfaces. Again, this is a four in one system that we've got going here. So instead of just my uh, marching sticks, I have a pair of uh, Vic Firth uh, Colin McNutts here. Um, I also brought out some concert sticks. Um, I have a pair of Promark Light Orchestral here. Oh, that's actually a little bit softer than I initially thought it was, but that's pretty cool. Um, so it gives you a little bit more give than what you would um, expect out of a pad like Off World or Zymox, where your concert sticks um, are gonna give you a different feel on this surface. And yeah, this definitely feels like a great, a great surface for concert drumming. 
okay? So definitely this, um, this top piece, I would say could work for both concert and uh, marching drumming. Um, let's go ahead and use the soft top, the floppy top that we've got here, okay? Um, I think it's supposed to go on this way. Okay, so I, this, this is so soft that I would not really expect this to be used for concert drumming. Um, this seems more like it's a chop builder. Okay, because there actually is not a whole lot of support here, um, which is gonna be good for building your chops. It's gonna give you a whole lot of give in that top surface. Then we're going to put this acrylic surface in, all right? Um, and obviously I would expect this, yeah, that's for the marching drummers. Yep. Yep, definitely for the marching drummers. Gives you a nice, articulate, bright sound. Okay, so the last piece that we're going to look at is the back side, which is not rim. Um, it seems a little bit softer than the front side. Ah, okay, this, I can tell right away that this is meant for uh, a quieter drumming. It's definitely softer, has a lower tone to it. Um, and it's going to be good in situations when you don't have these other pieces with you, but you want to drum a little bit softer. So this pad system comes in three pieces. Um, once again, you have the double sided pad itself. All right. And then also you have your soft piece and your hard piece. I definitely think it is one of the top pads as far as versatility out there right now. Definitely, definitely gonna see this make some waves in the market pretty soon. Um, my only concern is that there's a lot of stuff to carry with you, but that's a little bit to give up as far as versatility. Um, we all want to be able to practice for all these different types of situations that we have. Um, so definitely versatility is key. Um, and if you gotta carry a couple of extra things with you, great. Who cares, you know? Um, but I definitely, definitely love this pad, and I think I'm gonna be using this a lot. So, shout out to Movement Drum Co. Definitely did a bang up job as far as versatility in this pad. Um, I definitely think this is gonna be making some waves in the game here pretty soon. And it's definitely a steal at only about $61 is what it retails for. So you're, you're getting away with a good deal, um, less expensive than what we pay for, you know, the Zymox pads um, and, and right under, you know, the off-world percussion pads. Um, so, you know, I definitely can see a lot of people getting into these and buying these. I am actually very happy that I have one of these now. If you guys want to know more about these pads, go to movementdrum.co. And if you want to know more about what we do at Drumlines of America, you can follow us at Dlines of America on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Snapchat, all that stuff. Or visit our website, drumlinesofamerica.com, where we have these really cool hashtag drumline wristbands up for sale right now. All right, guys, um, that's all my time for today. I'll see you guys next time. This has been JD, and I'm out.